Atomos Ninja 5 and Atomos Ninja 5 Plus great devices. I have been using these for quite some time for many reasons, mainly amazing display. Secondly, all their monitoring tools, uh, yes spot on and also the format apple prores i can record uh, onto hard drive on this and edit straight from the hard ssd hard drives on my computer there's a many reasons i have made a video separate video about this but if you ever use one of these or you're intending to use one there is a a bit of issue with all of them certainly the two i have and other ones i have used uh, in the past as well they all seem to have a very green color cast on the screen not a big problem but it could be quite annoying if especially if you want to nail the white balance in the camera uh, right in the camera this is a is a something which plagues these atomos recorders uh, pretty much yeah standard in this video i'm going to show you how to calibrate the screen so the colors display right <laughs> i'm not gonna lie there is no free way to calibrate these screens you have to purchase extra items to to make it happen you might not need to if you're happy with it, how the screen is even with a tiny tiny green tinge on these on this uh, you don't have to calibrate really but if you use these professionally and you take your craft seriously and you want that precision when you set the white balance you have to buy extra things and these things are firstly you have to get a the Atomos calibration cable. Not the cheapest cable of all cables. It costs a few pennies. Uh, this version I've got here, it's a LANG to USB-C. You can get also the standard USB uh, cable, whatever computer you have. Uh, this is a yeah, pretty much must have. This connects to remote socket of the Ninja 5 and straight to computer to control the calibration process. And also, as well as cable, cable you need a calibrating, screen calibrating tool. I do have a X-Ride i1 display pro the old one you can get these cheaper now second hand but also uh, the new ones the kali bright color checker display plus if you use the ninja 5 ninja 5 plus regularly and professionally i highly recommend getting this to get that process going to get your screen looking right so how do we do this let's get this thing out first uh, of the box what it is I should have unpacked this before the, making this video, but I'll do this quick. Okay, this thing, okay. It's a, a lens, a lens that reads basically the screen and, and relies that information to the software, calibrating software. This is a standard USB. I do have a MacBook Pro here with USB-C sockets, so I'm gonna use the adapter, which is not supplied. You position your, your lens directly on the screen. It has to be as, stationary as possible you don't want this to be sliding on the screen while you do calibration and you do need your atomos cable connected and that goes into your uh, remote socket on the uh, ninja 5 and the other end to the computer and the cable is very short for the money it costs it is very short cable okay we do have it we do have it here connected you have to go to the input tab and make sure that remote mode is switched to calibration lang. Before you start with any of this, you should switch the screen on, the recorder on first to warm up so the screen is uh, fully warmed up before you do any calibrating. You connect your cables to the computer, your cable for the, uh, for the calibration, the USB to remote. You connect your uh, x rite or whatever calibrator you do use uh, onto computer first before switching the calibrator software as soon as software is running you should click on detect button and that finds the recorder and it makes it ready for calibrating the software shows you in which color gamut range the screen is uh, currently also your gamma and gray tracking click on calibrate button it gives you the warning or advice that you should switch on 30 minutes before, at least 30 minutes before doing this. And you click on yes to start calibrating. And the screen displays the RGB colors, the blue, uh, green and red and white. And then shows and shows as well to the lens, uh, the shades of black and gray to calibrate the display. While it's doing this, the software as well tells you that it's reading native gamma right now and percentage while this is doing. This can take a few minutes. It's not 
particularly long process. The screen is changing from black through shades of gray and white now. Okay, it's doing updating gamma data now and calibration is complete. It took probably a minute and a half, maybe two minutes top. Once the calibration is completed, just click OK. And display is going to show you how much the color gamma was shifted and it's clearly shifted it towards more towards red and the yellows from the green the green cast was the problem of this particular recorder also the gamma display shows you how much has been shifted and the gray tracking as well how much adjustment there was there was uh, performed and this is it yes it's not cheap to get these extra bits but i think personally it is uh, very needed to get the screens, these screens, the amazing screens recorders work as they intend to. Now, doing all this, the calibration process didn't come, didn't happen <laughs> easily for me. Uh, I have got, luckily, I have got a couple of MacBooks and uh, my brand new M1 MacBook Pro wouldn't detect Ninja 5 or Ninja 5 Plus at all through Atomos calibration software. I have tried different USB sockets. I have installed the latest firmware update on the Atomos and I tried the latest calibration calibration software from Atomos and it just doesn't detect the, the recorders. I have messaged, I have talked to Atomos about this and um, if I get an answer, if I get some clear answer why this is happening and what the solution is, I, have, I will post, post that in the comments. I'll pin that comment uh, below this video. For now, I had to use my other MacBook Pro, the Intel MacBook Pro, the older one, and it just worked seamlessly detecting these, uh, these recorders through the Atomos software and calibration was actually possible. If that possibly happens and it doesn't, your computer doesn't detect these recorders, yeah, it could be very expensive cable and the calibrator for you to, to discover that you can't actually connect it. I've got no idea what is happening. It could be a remote situation actually with my computer only and it actually never happens to anyone else. I haven't seen anything online. I can't find anything in Google uh, explaining this problem. So maybe this isolated problem with my computer. The only solution really I could recommend right now, if, 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 if this doesn't work on with your computer is try someone else's computer. Software is very small to download and it is actually a free as well. So you could try on different computer as a plan C. As alternative, if you don't want to buy expensive cables and calibrators, and you don't want to or can't uh, do this by yourself, you can uh, send it to Atomos to be, to be done by them. So in UK, Holden, distributor of Atomos products, uh, will be doing or is doing already the service. It's MOTN service, including the calibration for £85 plus VAT. And in the US, you can contact Atomos uh, through their website, through their support system to request that that uh, service. Be done. I'm not sure what the price is in the US, but I imagine it will be similar to, to UK price. You will have to post it to them and you, have, you won't have your device for the period of, of service being done and yeah you have to pay extra for it and uh, this is it in this video i hope this video was in some way helpful or informative if it was please give me that thumbs up uh, please follow me on instagram consider subscribing and i'll see you next time